Hey everybody, welcome to T-Roy Cooks. I appreciate you joining us. I was just at my buddy Justin's house. Y'all may know him, Baby Back Maniac. If you're not familiar with him, go check him out. I'll put a link to his channel up in the iCard up here. Great guy, but we did a brisket cook and he sent me home with some brisket that we smoked on uh, one of his pellet cookers. So I'm gonna use that brisket. I'm gonna make a chili with it. I'm doing brisket chili. It's gonna be fantastic. I'm gonna bring y'all along. We'll be right back. All right guys, I just got me a Dutch oven here. It's gonna go in with 32 ounces of beef broth. Got one eight ounce can of tomato sauce. Three chicken bouillon cubes going in. Two serranos. And if you don't want the heat, just leave the peppers out all together, that'll be fine. But uh, I'm gonna let this uh, go over medium high heat until it starts coming up to a boil. When it does, and that chicken cube, bouillon cubes dissolved, we'll bring you right back. I'll show you what I'm gonna add next. All right, guys, it's coming up to a boil. I'm fixing to show you what we're gonna add in here next. And this will be several different dumps is what they call it when you're doing chili. Um, all of the ingredients. I'll put a list, a list of the ingredients and recipe down below in the description box. Just click show more below the video for that recipe and all the ingredients. Some of the ingredients, like the chili powders and stuff, I got from Mild Bill's Spice Company right here in Texas. So I'll put a link to their website where you can get these same chilies and make this great chili yourself. Let me show you what we're going to throw in here though. I've got three different chilies. I've got a, uh, this is kind of a, a lighter chili. This is a darker chili and this is a, just a regular chili, okay? I've got some onion, cayenne, and some salt. We're gonna dump all this in. I'm gonna give this a nice stir, kind of blend all this all together. Make sure the uh, powders get dissolved. And we're gonna reduce the heat down to medium. We're going to cover this and we're gonna let this just kind of simmer a little bit for about an hour and we'll check back in after an hour all right gang we're back it's been one hour now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go ahead and throw in i'm gonna throw a couple of cups of water in here yeah, a little bit more there we go a couple of cups of water this is my second dump here i'll throw all the ingredient list down below just hit show more one packet of saison goya Man, it's gonna be good, babe. Yeah, I'm driving Karen nuts, man. It sure is. <laughs> Give this a good stir. Again, mix everything up. And I'm also going to add the uh, the brisket at this point. Now, Justin and I did some brisket burnt ends, and I have some of that, and also some of the point end of the brisket that I kind of cubed up, as you can see. Uh, gorgeous bark on that brisket, man, but, uh, you know, go ahead and dump all this in. Give it a nice stir. We're going to bring it back up to a boil. Once it boils, I'm going to cover this. I'm going to let this simmer for a good half hour. We'll be back. All right, guys, it's been half hour. Let's check this out. I'll tell you what, this smell is just driving Karen and the dogs crazy. Sure does smell wonderful. Looks good, too. All right, going in with my last dump. Get a nice stir going on here. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna bring this uh, back up to a little boil, put the lid on it, simmer it for 10 to 15 minutes. And I've also made some cornbread in the meantime, so we're gonna have some of that. We'll be back here shortly after this simmers for about 10, 15 minutes. All right guys, this has been another 15 minutes or so here. Now, you can skip this part if you want to, but Karen and I like some black beans in our chili. Sure do. Let's go ahead and add some black beans. Let me give us another five minutes or so. And if you like it a little bit thicker, just get you some cornstarch or some masa, mix it with some flour. Not not much, maybe a uh, you know, quarter cup or so with uh, maybe a teaspoon of masa or cornstarch in the water. And it'll thicken this up pretty good. But we just tasted this. It's uh, pretty good, huh, Karen? Delicious. Hot diggity. All right, let this the uh, beans warm through for about five minutes. So we'll be going to plating this up. We'll eat, eat here shortly, folks. All right, guys, y'all check this out. There's my spoonful right there. I used the, uh, the image that I shot of the bowl for a thumbnail image, so it looks fine, folks. I'm telling you, it smells fantastic. Got that smoked brisket flavor in there. Cheers to you. Oh my gosh. Mm. If anything, 
I would change, I wouldn't add as much water, maybe just one cup next time. But the flavor is there, folks. This is jamming. Hope you give it a shot. Again, check out the recipe, just hit show more down below. Karen, what you think, babe? Uh, I think the liquid's fine as this, because you need to put your cornbread in it, top it up, it is so good. Yeah, it's good stuff, folks. Thanks for watching. Hope y'all give this a try. If you do, let me know what you think about it. If y'all like this, give me some thumbs up. If you're not subscribed yet, please go ahead and subscribe to T-Roy Cooks. I'd appreciate it. And folks, if y'all like this though, y'all should share this video. Hope you do. And when you do, please tell all your friends that T-Roy Cooks responsibly. Cheers, everybody.